So hello everyone, you remember my other videos. Well today, look! We're baking red velvet cupcakes for my stand that I'm opening up. So if you're in Darwin and you're near my house, which is in the Colby, if you're near that area, go check out my stand if you get the chance. Who and if I'm there, I'm there from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. Anyways, let's get baking. First, we need to preheat the oven to 180C or 350F. All right, so um, turn the oven switch on, on the wall, on the wall, the wall, the wall, behind the knives, behind the knives, other side. Wait, wait, wait. So turn the hob switch off, hob and switch on, yep. Okay, now flick the timer around on Where's the, the timer? right hand side. Can you see the timer button? Right here. So flick that around to about 80. Yep. 80. Okay, now the next one, oven grill button. So Put that onto 180 for 180 degrees centigrade. So no, not that one. Turn that off. Next one, flick it around to the right, up, yep, to 180. 180. Yep, and now the next one, function, flick it around to fan grill. Fan grill. Down to the bottom, right. Now it's preheating at 180 degrees. Now it's preheating. We've completed the first step. We've completed the first step. Now let's see what the second step is. The second step is... Place the cupcake mix, eggs, milk and soft butter or margarine into a mixing bowl and mix with a wooden spoon for one minute. Okay, so we're going to have to pause while we get all the ingredients together. Uh, no, I'll get the ingredients. Alright, so, okay, stop. Stop. We need a big mixing bowl. Okay, let's get a big mixing bowl. Get bottom, right. bottom drawer. Yep, right here. Careful. Okay. Uh, this one will do. No, it's not big enough. How about this huge bowl? That will be perfect. Here we go. So I'm going to use this as a mixing bowl, even though it's a fruit bowl. All right. So a mixing bowl. Um, how many eggs do we need? Wait. Let's Alright, so read the instructions again for step two. What are they? So, we need to place the cupcake mix with two eggs, a third of a cup of milk, and three tablespoons of soft butter or margarine. Alright, so do the two eggs first. So, crack two eggs into the bowl. Okay, now we're going to crack. I'm very safe with egg cracking. Okay. Oh, we got a little little egg shell in there. Ah. 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 Okay. Now we got a lot of egg shells up in there. Okay. I'll show you how to get the egg shells out. How do you so, get the egg shells out? Okay. So I hold the. Hold the, take the camera here. Okay, hold the... Right. This is how you get eggshells out. You actually That's use the eggshells and they magnetically attract onto... See how it's stuck onto it? Yes, it sticks using the egg. Yeah. Now I'm filming, if you didn't know. Okay, right, I'll get some more eggshells out. So, yeah. Get some more eggshells out. So this let's is why we put the eggs in first, not the flour mix. This is why we put the eggs in first, not the flour mix. Right, and there's one down the bottom there. Right. Get a little spoon. 
And we gotta mix the eggs up, don't we? Ninda's just getting the eggshells out. That's why I'm recording at the moment. I know, it's a bright light, isn't it? Yeah, don't shine your eyes, please. No, I'm just recording you. Yeah, well, that's fine, but don't shine your eyes. Shine it in the bowl. I want to eat my eyes. So, they are both Linda's hands, even though one looks more whiter. She is for one a white person. But she does look a lot like, it looks a bit like my hand, doesn't it? But I promise, this is my mum's hand. My other hand is recording. So you're almost ready for me to crack the second egg? No, still got more shells in here. You ready? No. There aren't any more shells in there. Guys, do you see any shells? You don't want any shells in the mix. Move. Do you see any eggshells, guys? I don't see any. No, there aren't any more left, Mom. Whoa. All right, now I'll show you how to do it so you don't get eggshells in the mix, all right? Mm-hmm. Just tap the middle like that. Tap the middle. Oh, Break it. See? Watch it. And then pour it in. Voila. No eggshells. No eggshells. That's how you do it. Right. Let me just wash my hands and then... You need to mix it up. Okay, now we need to mix all the eggs. Mum, can you record me mixing? Sure. Careful not to touch the record button. Anyway. Now I'm gonna mix. I know. I'm a good eater, aren't I? Is that good, Mum? That's good. It kind of looks like pancake mix. Yeah. Like the start of a pancake mix. Okay, my mum's now recording. Right, what's the next thing? So, after. Now, now we need to put the cupcake mix in. No, not yet. Put that in last. Okay. All right, what else have we got? Milk? Yes. How third, much milk? A third of a cup. All right, so... Um, what? 150 ml of milk. Okay, um, so what we need is about... Up to about the second, the second row here. The second row of the cup. Okay. Um, okay. I have not forgotten that I am recording. Do not worry, guys. I just need to focus a bit. That's probably about enough, am I right? Let me check. Yeah, I'll just add in a little bit more. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> All right. There. Now we All right, add. wait, put the milk back in the fridge first. Now let's put the milk back in the fridge, guys. <laughs> Hope you guys did not see that. That was very inappropriate. I'm getting He does not have pants on. <laughs> right. I did not want to show you guys. Anyway, now let's pour our... Third of a cup of milk in. Alright, cup in the sink. Cup in the sink? Record me, Mum! Okay. Alright, now get the margarine. Okay, we use margarine, not soft butter. We use olive oil spray. Petroleum. This is what we use. All right, get a big spoon out of the oval-shaped spoon, not the round soup spoon. Yep, that one. Okay. All right, read out the instructions. How much butter do we need? So we need three tablespoons. All right. Sixty grams. All right, so three scoops of the margarine. Okay. One. 
Yep. All right, spoon in the sink, margarine back in the fridge. Spoon in the sink. What you want to do is just dump it in the sink back, and then you want to put the margarine back in the fridge or wherever you got your margarine from. Well, actually, put it back in the fridge because it's with you. Yes. Okay, so open up the packet. Now Keep the frosting mix separate and open up the flour and everything and add that into the mix. We gotta add the cupcake mix. Oh! It even came with some cupcake holder. So yep, that's it. Alright, so very carefully open it up with scissors. Don't spill it. Now you want to carefully open it. This isn't a how-to. I'm just doing it. Alright, go over there so if it drops anywhere it's not going to fall on the floor. No, 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 no. No. Over the table. Yeah, cut it there. Okay. Make a big cut so it can come out. Now let's pour it all out. Well, the rest, this is pretty much the rest of the mix right in this container. Get into the bowl, darling. Don't do it around. Right, all the plastic, all the plastic bits need to go in the bin. Yep, alright. Now you want to put your plastic slash rubbish in the bin. Right, put it all in. There. Alright, scissors away in the drawer, close the drawer. And now you want to put away your scissors. Right, okay, now, um,. You take over the filming while I set up the electric mixer. Okay. Mom's, my mum's going to set up the electric mixer, but can I use the electric mixer? Okay. So I'll be mixing it first. No, so I'll, I'll start it off. It's my channel, Mum. Bye, Bye. I don't want to start an argument on this channel. Good. Demonstrate how to do it, and then you take over. Demonstrate. Plug it in. Put that switch on. Alright. We just put it on one first. Put it on one first. Alright. So just switch it to one. You take over. Careful. Okay. So just switch it to... Alright. Just move it around the bowl till everything gets into a nice mixture. Okay. What you want to do if you have a mixer like mine? It's turning into a nice mixture now. Good job. Just gradually sure. fold in all the powder, all the flour. Keep fingers out the bowl. Yeah. Just keep it in the same spot and spin the bowl. Careful, don't let it get off the edge of the bowl. Okay, right, steady, let me finish it off now, love. That's okay. good. My mum's going to finish it off. Okay, okay. Got no. Yep, I got the, I got the camera, huh? Alright, you did a good job. Look at that lovely smooth mixture. Look at that mixture. It's a little bit redder than it's supposed to look. Well, that's just because it's on camera. It, it looks more vaguely pink. It looks more like a faded pink out of camera. But this is what the it mixture is. Like. But it should look like that thickness once you're done. But you can use any cake mixture kit and you can even do it from scratch. But since it's a stem, we got, I'm opening it up today, so I just thought it's gonna be way quicker if we just 
Here's a stand. What happened? Turn up to three. I only wanted two. What? Turn up to three. I only wanted two. Get the fingers away. Okay, so she accidentally put it on three when she meant to put it on two. That's why it's a little louder. There we go. Now it's silent. Oh, I like to lick the mixers. I like to lick the mixers once we're finished. Let me see how the mixer will taste. I just want one, because I want this to be quick. Mm. Oh. Mm. That's a very good red velvet mixture. Okay, that's enough. Yep, that's enough. Right. And record me, not the sink. Right. And just start it off and dunk it in there. Right. You take that over the filming. I'll take over again. And pop that away, mum, mum. I just stepped on something. That's why I, I stopped filming Linda for a second there. All right. So we've mixed it uh, all up. Have a, tell me what is in step number three. Step number three is to bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. The cupcakes are baked if they are sparkling back. When they are light touch in the centre, allow to cool in the pan for five minutes higher to trim. Transferring onto the cooking rack. Okay, so we need to put them all out. So, um, take over the filming. Yep. But why? Some cooking trays. I could get out a cooking tray. Alright, so put out 12 cupcakes. Now we're going to make... Cupcake holders. 12 cupcakes. One. There we go. And... Two, three, four. Put them on the outside, darling. Oh, actually, that's, yeah, there's 12 there anyway. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. <laughs> we just keep, keep switching because sometimes I get to do it and sometimes mum needs to do it. So it keeps changing and changing. And sorry if the phone, if the camera is a bit wiggly. There's nothing really I can do about it. I keep trying my best. I try. I just never get to. Anyways. And I'll show you. A quick tutorial of what our stand looks like once we set it up. And there we go. Are we going to make 24? I'm going to make 12. See how I go. So 12 for the morning and then maybe another 12 for the afternoon. If there are enough people to park. No, but I want to stay there because they could go at any point. True. So I'll just stay there until 2 p.m. Because they could come at any point. Sometimes they like to go in the in morning on Sundays and sometimes they like to go in the afternoon on Sundays. It's random. They never go at the same time each day. Yeah. So if I want to stop early, will you let me? Done. You do what you want. Yes. If I only like to do it for the morning, then I, then I, then I'm allowed to only do it for the morning. Yeah. 
I'm sorry if this is a bit boring for you guys, but at least you get to hear our chitty chitty chat chat. We're Waldrons, we like to talk to each other. Chit chat, chit chat, chit chat. Well, sorry, that was really jiggly that time, because I went ding 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 ding. Like, look, I'll show you what I did. I was like ding 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 ding. <laughs> Anyways. We're making sure that the mixture we put in each is all very even. So there's exactly one twelfth of the entire mixture in each cupcake. Yes. And guys, you need to look out for that as well. You guys get to help me. Yay! And then theoretically, when I've got no more mix in the bowl, there is exactly enough. For 12 cupcakes. So is that what you need to do? Maybe a little bit more in that one? Yeah, a bit more in that one and maybe a tiny bit more in these two. Okay. Yeah, because they don't look exactly even as the rest. No, 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 not that one. That one's fine. These two is what I meant. And then just get some in this one as well. I'm making sure not to touch. Look, my hand's just hover over the cupcake mixture. They don't actually go into the cupcakes. I don't want it dry. I'm going, I'm doing this stuff out to strangers. And they're only one dollar if you're up here. Right. You probably aren't though. Don't mm -hmm. worry. You'll still get to have some red velvet cupcakes. Because of right. us Come doing this. Spoon. Oh sure. Film me licking the spoon. I'm a little sweaty. Mm. Mm. All right, so sink spoon in the bowl and fill it with water so that the ants don't come. Okay, that's enough. Turn it off. That's enough. Right. Okay, so film me and I will put them in the oven and then you can set the timer mm -hmm. and that will be the first part of your day done. So. Well, I decided to just do the activities. I decided to just do the activities that we're doing today. All right, so you see it says 20 here. So I'm going to put it halfway between the 20 and the 30. Mm. So the timer will tell us when it's been cooking for 25 minutes. And that, folks, that's all for today. On a nice bit. See you next time, baby. Bye.